Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. And our today's lesson is The Shop That Never Was by H.G. Wells from your English textbook Blossoms. Now you all must wonder who H.G. Wells is, right? H.G. Wells, his full name is Herbert George Wells, who lived through 1866 to 1946. And he was a famous famous English writer and he was prolific in many genres. And he was mainly known for his science fiction and science fictional works. And many of uh, some of his uh, known and famous works are The Time Machine, The First Man on the Moon, The Invisible Man, etc. Now you all must wonder what science fiction is, right? Science fiction, the phrase holds two words. Look, science and fiction. Now you all know what science is. But fiction, the thing or the word is new to you all. Fiction is a form of literature, mainly prose and especially novels that is full of imaginary characters and people so as an example we can say that mainly fairy tales are um, a type of science uh, a type of fiction but here we are going to read science fiction and this story that the shop that never was was actually taken from one of a jewel's story the magic shop and you are going to read a short version of it in the main story we will see three characters one is the little boy jeep the other one is his father or the narrator and the third one is the shopkeep the shop owner or the magic magic shop owner now as we go through the story we will see that the little boy has gone to a fair with his father and he sees many things there but what catches his eyes are um, a, a shop a magical shop and he really is keen to go there so he's, he, he goes there with his father and there are many things that catches his eye and he wants to buy a few simple tricks. Now the shopkeeper shows them many things. One of them was glass ball, another was sword and the last one, the last one was he uh, puts a drum of on, on on the boy little boy was very little you know and in a fraction of a second the boy disappears so this really frightened his dad so the narrator was very very scared and shocked and he wanted to find the boy and just within a moment when he tried to find him the shop was gone and the boy was never there there was no curtains no other things that shop was looking before looking like before and this and he, when the narrator just found the boy a few hands across the street from him standing there with many presents and boxes in his hands and in the boy was very happy but the this incident surprised the narrator so very much that he wanted to visit the place again and again and he did but he never found the boy he, he never found the shop ever again like it vanished in the thin air and we have found some uh, the shop was full of magical things uh, as we said before as i said before and it uh, it had glass ball 
magic cards, colorful marks, mysterious boxes, and a magical mirror that made people look fat and thin and tall and short. And the synonyms we get here are eager, that is meaningly keen, empty is blank, trick is meaning magic, and surprise, we mean shock. So thank you all. I hope you understood the class.